Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be doing a uh, April week two and three mixed because we didn't basically get any pay last week. Um, this is our joint income stuffing. So today we'll be stuffing our car, travel, sinking funds, um, school fees, retirement, more, lots of different things in here. Uh, and this is the money that we, we, we will be stuffing today. So if any of this interests you, please subscribe. We we got to try and get to 2,000 subscribers by August, which will mean we'll hit that after a one year exactly of being on YouTube. We would have hit 2,000 subscribers. So that is my goal. Um, but if finance or if budgeting or if... I don't know, just sitting here chatting and learning a bit about me. I don't know if any of that interests you or um, we have a goal to get $10,000 emergency fund and six months ahead of expenses. So that means a $50,000 goal plus a $10,000 emergency fund. emergency fund is our goal. Plus, of course, getting financial freedom and giving every dollar a purpose of our income every week. So if any of that interests you, yeah, please share our video, my video and uh, subscribe and all those other things that everyone always says every video. So stick around. All right, so today we will be, first of all though, I actually forgot to do in the last video. I just wanted to get any extra coinage, which I actually don't think I've even got any at all. Oh, whoopie do my daughter's little diary spare key. Five cents and 10 cents, like that's it. Well, that's not gonna help my um, coin challenge much, is it? But anyway, oh, there's my dice. There you go, we found that. That's a plus. I'll leave that there, actually, for after. All right, I'll pop that over to the side. Um, so, yeah, let's do this. So let's count up what we have. I haven't got my calculator. But we have $1,000, 250 350 450 So we have 1450 in prop notes, which is in the bank. I've already transferred it to the appropriate accounts. Um, and I'll go through what that is for soon. Um, so 1,450 there. And this should actually be exactly 2,000, I think. So let's just check. 1, 2, 3, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 8, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 99, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That is exactly $1,000 there. So we have $2,450 to stuff today into sinking funds and bills and travel and car and a bit of everything actually today. So great. All right, so we will start with bills because they are things that just sort of can't be neglected because I have worked out, you know, what we need for that. Oh, did I not even add in? I actually didn't have enough to add in for electricity today, but we are ahead in a credit for that for 160, so I can afford to miss that one week. Um, okay, so water will add in 30. All right, so we have in water 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Hope you guys are having a really, really good Saturday or Sunday. When am I going to be posting this? I'm going to be posting this on Saturday. Um, yeah, hope you're having a really, really good Saturday. Got much plans for this weekend. I actually, fitness-wise, have found there's a couple of um, mountains in where near, well, not near, we've got to drive to them, but... Um, where you can walk up uh, on the Sunshine Coast, a bit more south, there's some things like that. And I actually really, really enjoy it. And I thought, what best to climb up a million stairs, um, but with beautiful views, the weather's cooled down and it's just sunny and it's just gorgeous. Um, yeah, that's what I've started to do now. Every week, I pick a different mountain and we go climbing up it. And I've started to get the kids into it um, as well. So it's a really, really good way to, since I absolutely hate exercise well I don't hate it I hate it when you don't do it you do hate it but when you start doing it you love it it's tough it's tough but uh, I am enjoying that and that's really really good and it costs absolutely nothing but a bit of petrol to get there all right so we have gas we'll be adding in 
our $10. So we have 100, 120, 130, 140. Um, now we have the rates, which always gets, I hope I've got the right money. I'm just going to put in 20s, just in case I don't have enough 20s, but... No, I will. Hang on. I will. I'm just going to put in the two 20s. And worst case, I'll swap them out for 100 if I need to. But that gives us 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, $400 in the rates. Annual fees is also gets a 40. Um... You know what? I do need, I think I need to exchange this. I don't think I have enough. Um, I honestly thought I worked that out all right, but there you go. Let's go that. 250's in there. And then I need 40 in there. Um, let me just check. 20, 1, 2, 3. I need three twenties. Yep, which I've got. Should be okay. Should be okay. 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4. 400 in annual fees to due in January. Need about 2,000. Um, and then we've got tax $10. One hundred, two hundred, two fifty, two seventy, two eighty, two ninety, three, three ten, three twenty, three thirty. Um, three thirty. So water, gas, rates, and plug fee tax. All right. So then we need to do. I'm not getting sight blind sided again. Me, these uniforms. So I've got to keep that up. So twenty dollars into there, that gives us one hundred and forty. And school shoes. There's my little babies, not so babies anymore. School shoes. They still need their mummy. Um, Ten dollars. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. And there. Um, all right. And then I think I'll put in, let's pick the categories that sort of needed them. Um, clothing, I need to do $20 into that one. So that will give us 100, 200, 20, 40, 50. So 250 in clothing. I will also be, um, I think I need, going to get one more envelope uh, in here for seasonal clothing. And I don't know if, I know that sounds weird, but kids always need clothes. They grow up, right? And, and I've got shoes separate as well and school stuff separate as well. But I've realized every six months they kind of need seasonal clothing, like, you know, slippers, dressing gowns, warmer pajamas, winter especially things for, you know, winter, and then, you know, summer might be new thongs or things like that, or I don't know, like board shorts or back, just seasonal clothing. So what I'm actually going to do from Boss Girl Budgets, hello, um, I've actually booked a, a border, another season ch challenge. So I'll have be doing five every quarter of seasonal challenges, but that particular one will be a fashion one for seasonal clothing. So that's just, just a little bit of a what's coming soon and the only other video uh video not video dying that we'll be doing is our oh no sorry there's two but in our investment financial freedom binder i have to always put in investments so we always do 20 dollars a week without fail into that so that now has 40 goal is 500 before we then invest the money and then start that process Investments, extra mortgage repayments. I didn't put in the 50 from last week as in the prop note for it, so I'll do it now. So we're gonna put in $100, which we've added extra into the mortgage repayment. 
Uh, so I had an extra $55 a week for those of you that are new into the mortgage. Uh, and I only started that a couple of weeks ago because I actually worked out, it's not 35,000, I think you say $44,000 interest if we put in extra, and we're halfway through our mortgage term too. So if we'd done that at the start, then it would have been even more savings. But now we say, I think it's 15 years to go roughly or something like that on the mortgage, which we're gonna try and pay off as quick as we can. Um, if just by putting in $55 extra a week, we save 45,000 in interest and reduce it by two years. So I thought that was pretty cool and manageable, even though we're still doing our six months expenses. And then retirement savings, that's just been direct debited now, pre-tax, um, salary sacrifice and out of my pay, which you just sign a form with your work and they take it out. So that now has had $100 extra added to it too. So I really like um, tracking this, which is great. Um, and then Kids Future, we will be doing, probably starting doing a bit more of that next month. Uh, what else do I need to add? Oh, I missed, I missed um, the school binder. We have to end the school fees. I've transferred the school fees over into the school account. So I'll add in another 1,250 into that. So that should have 2,500 in there now. And now we will move on to the car and travel binder, which only gets stuff once a month. Whoops, that's events, sorry. It's another, the other black one. All right, so car and travel binder. Let me just check my filming. Oh God, I just knocked you. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's all good. There you go. Sorry, my knee smashed it. <laughs> all right, car and travel binder. All right. So, what's that one got? 2,000. Oh, I didn't write down. Yes, I did. On the back of the page. <laughs> All right, so we will be adding in one, two, three, $300 into car maintenance. So car maintenance will have 1,000, 2,000 in prop notes. So 1,000, oh, here we are. Which way around do I do it? The $100 is the wrong way. But I like that side. We'll do it that way. So 1,000, 2,000. 100, 200, 300. So 2,300 at the moment in car maintenance. And my car is due for a service, which I think is $1,500 for the year. I get it serviced once a year, uh, which is what it, that's what you need to with that one. Um, car insurance, we will be adding in a 100. So that has one, two, three, fifty, four hundred dollars $400 for car insurance. Um, car Rego has seven fifty in the bank, and I'll add in at two hundred. So fifty one one fifty two. So we have fifty um, seven fifty eight eight fifty nine nine fifty. So nine fifty for car registration. That'll be exactly what we need to register my car. So we just need to. Save up another 800 to register my husband's. Uh, car tires, we will be adding in a hundred into there. So we have 100, 200, 50, 300, 20, 40. So 340 in there. And car detailing, we'll put in a uh, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we have 20, 40, 60, 8, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 10. For car detailing and car buffer, we will pop in a 10. So that is, has 10, 20, 25, 30. Car buffer or petrol buffer or whatever sort of buffer we need. Now for some holidays. Um, we have our Australian holiday we do once a year. 
um, $10 per icon. And this is for our every year we do two Australian holidays. Um, usually one around just after Christmas. And um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And one on the other, you know, school holidays at some point, whether it's Easter or June or July or September or whatever it is. All right, so we have $30 in there. And then we have weekend away. We'll get the other 20. So 5, 10, 15, 20. So I'll put in uh, 20. So this will be one of these. All right, so we have 100, 120, 140. 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So 180 in Weekend Away. But all these other ones, which I'd love to stuff. But realistically, this year, look, we have to focus on getting six months ahead, building up our emergency fund, and really saving for braces. That's really the this year the most important thing. So I know that sounds a bit boring, but all this fun stuff will come. Um, just not this year. All right, beautiful. Thank you so much. I think that is the rest of the video. There you go, all that money gone. Um, but uh, we don't actually have a savings challenge video this week, but what I may do instead is I was thinking I have another video. So we have a YouTube payout video to do as well because of you guys. So thank you so much. I just can't believe it. Um, I don't know what I'm saving for with that yet, but I don't know. I've got I want something really special that can mean a lot. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Have a really, really awesome Saturday. Have a really, really good weekend or Friday night over there in the other side of the world. But um, have a really, really good night. Have a great weekend. Um, spend some quality time with, with your loved ones. And um, just trying to think if I had anything else to update you guys with. Haven't had the orthodontist appointment yet. Uh, my daughter, hmm, no headaches, but stomach issues now. She seems to be going through the wars, that one. Um, a lot of anxieties with school. It's, uh, I was talking with the mums, the gymnastics, and um, geez, us mums go through some stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know there's lots of guys out there that watch me, don't have kids, but um, yeah, geez, it's a tough job. And... It's very rewarding, but it's very, yeah. And it was funny. I was talking to another lady, and she's like, "Everyone's like, I'm so. I seem like such a not me. Sorry. Um, one of the mums said that another mum went up to her and said, "You seem so put together, and you, you know, you seem great, mum, and all that." And she's like, "It's just all, you know. We all. I've learned to just don't judge anyone. We all have a lot of things we're going through, and I just basically just be kind to one another because you know." Life can be hard for different things. We all go through a lot of ups and downs. And um, yeah, just yeah, be kind to each other. You know, saying a nice word to someone doesn't take a lot out of your day. It makes you feel good. It'll make them feel good. You know, why not just be nicer people, basically. So anyway, that's not really about finance, but there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and yeah, keep being awesome. Be kind to each other. Bye.